diagnosing electrical problem. Typical GM HEI distributor cap, anyways. Just one day the 455 just didn't want to run. Uh, you can see in the light there's this little carbon tip. Anytime you do a tune up, or you change the if you change the coil, sometimes it comes with this. If you change the cap and rotor, it'll come with this. What you need is you need a little spring. If you don't want your motor to run, don't include the spring. But I'm just trying to figure out why it's not running. Typical coil for an HEI. A lot of times, if you don't have a running issue, it'll you have pock marks or burn marks right here because the gap is too great between the carbon tip which attaches to the rotor and this piece here but just looking at it in the light there's no burn marks doesn't smell burned, it just smells like epoxy and the wires here they're not chafed and they weren't rubbing I mean, which leads me to believe it's the module Again, here's the rotor underneath there. This is the module. I want to check for broken wires. I just changed this module two years ago. It's not a cheap Chinese one, it's a actual Delco. I'm going to pull this rotor off and then I'm going to inspect underneath there. Here's the module. This is a typical GM 4 pin. I'm going to take that and have it tested now. You can see down here, this is a little, this is a condenser, a radio suppressor that keeps all the noise from the ignition. It keeps it from being picked up by the radio while you're in the car. And these two wires back here. Your pickup coil, they're kind of bent. I gotta inspect these really close because if your pickup coil is not working, you're not gonna have any spark. In the same sense, if you have a camera crank sensor going bad in a newer vehicle, here's your vacuum advance pot, which increases and retards the ignition advance as the vehicle as the engine is running. And these are the weights that control the vacuum advance. I'm sorry, the springs control the vacuum advance. The weights. This is what allows it to open up at a certain RPM. And this is where the rotor sits. So you see how it works. Alright, I'm going to try and get this thing figured out. Stay tuned.